Soup's on? Soup's on. Chad, this looks good. What's on the menu? Axis deer. Oh, really? And it's also this week's show. This this axis right here? That's the star. Oh, <laughs> great. Get ready. give you a shout we're in san antonio now gps says we're about oh 10 miles from the airport and that was mark lawson he's going to be uh hooking up with andrew jennings we've had a lot of fun with our winners in the past hunting these axis deer you know we're going to be heading out to hook up with george nelson trash rack outfitters hey what's up buddy who's who Mark Austin. Mark Austin, Chad McDonald. Andrew Jennings. Andrew Jennings. Nice to meet you, buddy. Looks like everything made it. Let's get you loaded up. I'm looking at this thing, and I'm a weekly winner, you know, and uh, I was kind of surprised to actually, you know, see that I had won, and, you know, it's like opening a Christmas present late, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, no, it's funny, too, because, like, you're saying about it basically being like a Christmas present. Because uh, uh, Chad, when we were talking, we we're like, oh, you know, we gotta push back the dates and all this type of stuff. Uh, I just thought it was hilarious when you find out at Christmas. I'm like, oh, awesome, Christmas present. My birthday was last Sunday, and I'm like, birthday present. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, all right, we're hitting two of them. Let's do it. Let's get out there. Texas, baby. <laughs> like, <laughs> nice to meet you, Andrew. The, uh, the best thing about this hunt was uh, we were two-on-one -on uh, with George, with the owner of Crash Rack Outfitters, and we were able to get out and spot and stalk, uh, you know, in Texas, in Mesquite Flats, and just phenomenal territory. Uh, we, you know, when we got there, he turned around, and after maybe a half hour, we got dressed, and now we went right away into the field and started glassing, getting up to a lot of the high points. Uh, some of the area uh, we got to by uh, his Polaris, and then just hopped out and off into the you know off into the grounds we went. Um, and what was really good about that is you're able to see your surroundings. You know, you're able to get really get a better experience uh, of hunting and being able to see something from afar and you know really get out there. And uh, so I, I, I think the hunting experience here at Trash Rack Outfitters uh, is best you know really experience I've had out of any outfitters that I've been to before. Let's just sneak up here to the road and check it out. See if there's something there. That's a toad. Get up there, shoot him. That shot up big time. That was an easy shot. I should have got that. That's, I heard it smack something right behind. What did it hit? The, I think you killed the cedar post. <laughs> oh, that's. Well, there's two people who don't uh, miss. Uh, he or don't shoot and he who lies. Oh, it happens to everybody. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you if you miss, don't feel bad about it because that's better than wounding an animal. Uh, you know, because uh, there will be times in your life that you do miss a shot.
Sportsman of North America is brought to you by Timber Tall Tree Stands, Hard Rifles, Hunter's Safety System, MyPatriotSupply.com, Kicking Bear, Sportsman's Hunting Gear, Setlock, Boss Buck, Gordo's Cheese Dip, and Can Cooker. We are the only online hunting community that gives away a free hunt every week. It's only a mouse click away to sign up at www.sportsmanna.com. And while you're there, get a free subscription to our online magazine, The Outpost. Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Can Cooker. Day two, getting ready to go. Two axes, big one, get ready, set up. There you go, he's stopping, shooting. Perfect. That sucks, man. I don't normally shoot that. You know, like hunting is, you know, sometimes it, you, don't, you don't connect. You know, in, in my case, uh, I swung you know, swung a couple times and I swung eye. You know, it was, like I said, he's like, you know, you know the odds are good and you wonder, maybe it might be you. And uh, uh, luckily it, it was me. You know, uh, I got my time in the sun and hopefully you will too. <laughs> so that's how it ended? Well, yeah, I mean, so he didn't. But he went home empty-handed. Well, he went home with memories of a lifetime. Well, I mean, you know that's hunting. But yeah. I mean, what a what a black buck antelope. I know it. Yeah. Even you know that's a big one. Right? It, it looked pretty big to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that how it ends? Or well, we went back with another winter two months later during the peak of the rut. Back to trash rack. Back to trash rack. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're on the road. Uh... Headed for Trash Rack Ranch, Trash Rack Outfitters, down South Texas. Uh, this is a hunt that I won on Sportsman in North America. Only got a few miles to go. This is it, the last turn. This is the gate to the Trash Rack Ranch Lodge. I've looked it up on the internet. Uh, it looked like a real nice facility. Uh, but, uh, it must take a lot of effort to grow grass in this country. But it looks just like on the internet. Hey, hi, oh yeah, yeah. What have you been playing, huh? Hello. Hello. Hi, Tom oh, Peterman. Uh, hi, Lenita. here with Sportsman North America. Lenita Nelson, how are you? How are you? Yes, Tom? Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hi, Tom. How nice you to doing, meet you. George? Nice to meet you. How's your ride? Huh. Long ride, but I'm sure it'll be well worth it. Well, we hope so. Looks like we'll be spending a lot of time here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Cinderella. How'd you sleep? Oh, pretty good until about 3 o'clock. <laughs> oh, yeah, gee, I didn't realize you were filming. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we yeah. film everything. <laughs> Five o'clock, uh, you know, get rolling. We're about ready. There's a, there's a big axis. Just getting ready to go down and set up on the edge of this ridge, look down into the valley, so we can catch some early movement. one thing you forget.
sounds like Hulk. Everybody's fighting this morning. Beside those two white tail. I think that's Axis fighting guys. Yes. There's a there's a big axis coming through down this way. That's one under the tree right there. That's been true. Real mess. The sun is killing me. Yeah, that sun is bad. Too much sun. That's that other one that I've seen. Yeah, it looks good, long. Do you see him in there, Chad? No. See over here on the right where all the bucks are? Yeah. The big one's in there. He's with them. Guys, we need to try to take a shot. Okay, is it the two fighting? Yeah. One on the left. Come on up. I'm rolling. Sun's in the scope. I see one. That's the one. The one on the left. Oh, there's another one walking out. They're starting to spar again. Yeah. Left. One in the middle. And the one fighting on the left. The other one's in the way. Put your hat back. Okay. It's not too much sun. Not yet. There's too much sun. Right now the two little ones are fighting. The big ones are standing right on their side. The two little ones are fighting and the big one is by himself. Right? Oh. That Can't see. That sun. There, get over. Still can't see nothing. I can't see him. I can't see him. That's sun. Can't get a shot. Chad, that sun looked like it ate your lunch. It was, I was trying to do everything with the camera that I could and the sun was just wearing us out. I mean, I could see the animal through the camera, but you know that scope had to be. I, that's what I was thinking. To, yeah. Wow, what was that, uh, what was that making that noise? Hogs down below us. Oh, was it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and by the time, you know, we got things worked out, they'd already made their way back into the creek bottom. Well, that's just hunting though, you know, that's just the way it goes. Five minutes, you know, 10 minutes earlier or, or 10 minutes later, and it's been perfect, so, you know, it's just the way it goes. Wow, but what a way to start to, to hunt. I'm telling you what. <laughs> happening in this area. Unfortunately, the sun was in our face and couldn't see to get a good shot. Uh, I already have whitetails in the bottom. Uh, Yet. 
bushes in the way. I guess we didn't wear the spot out yesterday. Uh, there was still a lot of activity just a uh, hundred yards to the left, but uh, there was still a lot of movement in here. The axes were kind of separated from the whitetails this morning. There goes pigs. There goes pigs. Pigs up over the hill. Luckily we got it, got it done this morning before the sun got too high. Uh, because right now, it'd be impossible to see. That sunrise would blind you. Uh, thank you, Chad. You're George, Sportsman of North America, you are my ticket to the outdoors. Good job. Let's go get him. Let's huh? go get him. Let's go, buddy. I don't want Dr. Nelson giving me something. <laughs> Lim. Boy, he's got some long brow tires. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good eating, all right. He's going to have some double brow time here. Ah, boy, that's a beautiful coat, though. I think I'm going to make a rug out of this one. Good shot on him, too. Thank Beautiful you. Shot. Thank you. Thank you. George, Trash Rack Outfitters, welcome, Sportsman of North America, my ticket to the outdoors. You got it. Yeah, I mean, Sportsman of North America, uh, you know, uh, it's, you know, yeah, never expected that, you know, anybody's really going to win a hunt. Uh, and I've seen it on shows where, you know, they thought that, uh, well, it was a bogus call. and. Uh, for a while, I thought it was the same thing. I, you know, I was contacted by Chad again, and uh, you know, yep, it was it was real. And uh, yep, it's a golden opportunity. Uh, gave me the grand tour of the lodge, and yeah, it is really special. Uh, this is definitely a first-class establishment. Uh, well cared for, well maintained. Everything is, you know, plush, beautiful, uh, more than you would expect. I wanted to thank George Nelson and his wife Lenina, the trash rack, trash rack outfitters, for allowing us to come down here and experience uh, the hospitality of Southwest Texas. You know, I'm, you know, they say the stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas, and that's that's where I am right now, thanks to Sportsman North America and its members. Part of that overall experience um, really came home to the lodge and the food and just being able to gather with people of the same mindset that want to get out there and hunt, and want to eat really good food, and Lenita, thank you. Uh, one thing that I've always said to myself and others, uh, at least on a daily basis, is, is something that's it's called live the dream and learn to chase it. And that's something that the sportsman in North America will allow you to help you with, it's just goals. And, you know, they really helped me go out and live my dream and going out and hunting in Texas. For all of those out there that are not members of the Sportsman in North America, I encourage you to become a member, be active in the forums, talk to people, engage in relationships with these people in this club because it's something that can really grow and you know, you'll get a lot from it. Thanks for watching Sportsman of North America. Go to www.sportsmanna.com to catch all the episodes you missed. Don't forget, Sportsman of North America Hunt Club gives away a free hunt each and every week for an online social community for hunting and outdoors where you can meet other hunters and share photos, videos, and hunting tips. SportsmanNA.com is the new destination for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. We're changing lives one hunt at a time. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. This has been a Sportsman Video Production.